Welcome to Ibigan in London, the channel where I document my journey as a travel content creator and it began in London. So today we are currently in Liverpool Street Station. I have already created a video uh, earlier and now I want to carry on this vlog momentum that I've got right now. So we are currently in front of Italy. So if you had been watching my previous vlog, this is where I ended that vlog and now I wanted to go inside again and to show you around. And so today I also wanted to speak about how it is okay to go on your own pace. Everyone's on the same journey, same sort of destination. We are all heading towards success and doing something with your life or enjoying our lives and making the most of living. And uh, But we are all going in our own pace and that is what I wanted to touch upon to the, in today's vlog. So let me show you before we go in where we are. Once again, this is a very popular area, very vibrant with buses and transport uh, because this is where Liverpool Street Station is. And so it is very busy. But today is not too bad actually. Today is like, uh, we are Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, and pretty soon people are gonna stop working and it's gonna get a lot busier. But for now, let's just go inside Italy. Okay, let me show you. So in the previous vlog, I came here very fast at the end of the vlog just to show you quickly but now I'm going to go a bit slower so that you can see better. Look at the choice of cakes. So you can order a nice lovely coffee here. And there's a sitting area here. It smells good and everything looks so good. So everything is made in Italy and I'm going to go through it again. La Via del Dolce. So this is the, the sweet way. Everything looks great. Okay, so I have currently, I'm using the DJI Osmo awesome Pocket 3 as my main camera for every vlog. And I have the ND filter at the moment. Look at the sandwiches. Panini's. Oh, it smells great, guys. Good smell. There's a salad bar. It's just gorgeous. And look at this here. Donuts, pizzas, bread. There you go, choice of bread. And they do live music every Thursday. Okay, so let's go up. I'm gonna go up these. Yeah, I just thought. These escalators. So in London, we have to stand on the right and let people walk to the left. But right now, this is not the tube, so you can pretty much do whatever you like. It's beautiful, isn't it? So, yeah, as I was saying about the filter, that's mostly to be outside but because i know that i will be going outside after that i just left the filter in so look at that fresh produce it's nice and fresh and there's a lot more okay so this is just one part oh the olive oil the olive oil here at the moment in london is really expensive Oh, that's a lovely bag. Italy. 
Los Angeles, London, Tokyo. So I, be I believe that's where they are based at. So this is a big branch. Look at the cheese. Look at that cheese. Amazing. Oh, look, you can try. Oh. See? Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's this one here. It's that one. I don't know if it's two different ones. I'll try another one. There. I'll try that one. More here. Look at that cheese wheel. Wonder if you can hear me chew right now. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, olive oil is very expensive these days. I mean, look at that. This one, 18.90, but this is from Italy, of course. But even in the normal shop, you can't find one at less than five pounds. Okay. Let me show you again. So there's lots of chocolates here, biscuits, olives, pasta. And it's great today because it's not too busy. And you've got at the back here, so there's the beers here. But you also have wine. Look at that. So there's a few restaurants in here, but this is... Uh, the wine the wine cellar let's say but yeah so at the very back over there there's a restaurant also okay but what we'll do we're gonna leave now mm, actually no let's go back so you can see but there's a big big wine cellar at the back there but I highly recommend coming here it's actually look at that you could find lots of sweets and Look at that. The choice. It's beautiful. Okay, let's go towards this way so that you can see the restaurant. More cheese here. So there's a restaurant at the back over there, there's the bar here that you can sit down. They're obviously also serving the drinks for the restaurant. And then you could sit down here to enjoy the drinks if you don't want to go inside the restaurant. Pasta e pizza. There you go. Let's see the prices, the range of prices, so 17 to 14, eight, like between 14 and 22 pounds for a plate of pasta. Made freshly here, everything's freshly made here. We produce straight from Italy. So there's so many things, guys, to see. It's making me hungry now. Is this to try? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. Okay. It's a savory snack you spread by the most okay. famous Italian plate and food. Okay. This one, the green one, is made by basil, almonds, and pepper. Mm. The red one is peppers with olives and capers. Oh, very nice. Oh, gosh. Both of them sounds yeah, great. Of course. So, basil, yeah. this one. Yeah, and let's try. Amazing. Thank you. This one as well. It's a 24 month age parmigiano. Mm. You can eat mm -hmm. as a snack, yes, for mom. One of my best sellers. Mm -mm -mm. It's perfect as a snack, you can eat as a bread, as a tutons, can be the simple, can be addition to your meal, to your basket. Uh, kids love this one. It's made by tomatoes, it's like a pizza flavor. And it's a very old biscuit. You can find just in Naples, mm -hmm. downtown, mm -hmm. or in a building like this, because in Italy we sell just excellent food. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was this one yeah. I just tried. 
Let me if try. you take five pieces, two will be for free. So you pay just mm. for three. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I'm doing a vlog so they can hear all this. <laughs> so this one was this one here. No, no, this formaggio, one. Yes. Okay. That's the al formaggio. Okay. Mmm. I like that one. And this one is which one? Bell peppers, peperona. It's a bell pepper with mm. olives and capers. Mmm. That one's really good. Yep. Okay, I'll try that one. Yeah. Oh, I really like that one. <laughs> Let me try this one. Let's try as well. Okay, so this one here is the pepperoni. So it is this one. Mm. It's a bit salty, mm -hmm. a bit sweet when you, when mm -hmm. you wrap the almonds. Amazing. Let me. Do you mind being on? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a was... day. And you. I that was very helpful. <laughs> Perfect. And then, what did you say? That if you buy five, we get two? Yeah. By five, you can um, have a, a three pieces uh, okay. and two extra for free. Oh, amazing. Perfect. Thank you so much. You bye, bye bye. Ciao. Bye. Ciao. <laughs> oh, that was lovely. So there you go, that was really lovely, wasn't it? So I got, I just saw the little boxes and then I just thought, let me see if you could try it. But what's great is that they do have these little tasters. So that's, uh, so I got to try here so far the saucisson, um, which is like the, the salami type of, uh, like the sausage that they had, the dried curd sausage that we tried earlier. And now those little uh, biscotti, that was delicious. So my favorite one was definitely the Parmesan one. Uh, but it was, yeah, all of them was really good. So I really appreciate that of him. So let me show you the outside. Yeah. So you could have bottomless apple spritz. Oh, look at that. You can have, let me just show you. That's the restaurant bit. You can sit down there. It's quite big. It's wonderful. So you could really, it's, this is such a big space. All of this. Welcome to Italy. Amazing experience. So you see, I actually feel that I've been to Italy now. So I highly recommend coming here. Which is right next to Liverpool Street Station. So here we are. Okay, so now we are going to leave Liverpool Street Station and uh, apologies now, I've <laughs> been eating. I've been eating, so obviously, hopefully I don't have anything in my teeth. Um, okay, let's carry on this vlog again in public. Uh, I believe this one should be my vlog number 10 and... Um, so that was nice. That was nice to have interaction there with um, with one of the the guys in the shop. Uh, it's always good to interact with people, and I think he was definitely willing to be on camera. Uh, that's something that I always try to ask. Uh, obviously, I try to avoid people's faces, so that's why, in a way, when you are vlogging in public, you have to be careful with that. Not everyone would want to be in the camera. Unfortunately, you don't even mean to. Uh, and sometimes people will actually see you and uh, I don't know why sometimes I almost feel that they are looking at you they wait to see until you film them and then they just aim to come to you and say I don't want to be filmed because to me if I don't want to be filmed and I see someone with a camera I actually would walk away try to stay away from that area to not put myself in that situation but I think some people like to make a point of not getting filmed, which, you know, it's not, it's not great because it creates a, a sort of a vibe that you don't really want to have, but um, that's just how it is. So, uh, but in this case, he was really willing. He saw my camera and he just started uh, telling me about uh, the whole thing. And when I asked him and I said, I'm doing a vlog, can I film you? And he was like, yes. So let me show you this here. 
So that's another angle of Liverpool Street Station. Very popular station, very busy. Um, I don't know exactly what time it is right now. Because I think that clock is warm and I can't see it. <laughs> I haven't got my glasses on. Oh, I think it's not even three yet. Yeah, so that clock over there is telling me it's uh, five to three. So it's not rush hour yet. Okay. Right, so we are going to walk over towards London Bridge. And while we do that, I'm going to show you the streets of London, but also vlog about the subject that I want to talk about today. So, let me get back here. So, I really hope I have nothing on my, my lips. Oh, let me show you this little street. Okay. So yeah, there's pubs, restaurants, there's a subway there. But yeah, that over there, it's actually a nice little corner. It's a square, sorry, not a corner. Let's go. Why not? And then on the way to uh, London Bridge, there's also a little market that we could have a look at. But this area is actually very cute. So, so there's a Vietnamese restaurant, Cantonese, there's a barber shop, there's a subway, as I said. Yeah, a bit of everything. So we are approaching the square that I was talking about. Once again, like I say, London is just great for that reason. You find a bit of everything. Okay. So that's a cute little square, but that's not the one I meant. It's the one over there. Or oh, maybe I missed it actually. Oh, not to worry if I have. We'll create another video there. Ah, yeah, there it is. There's a knight on a horse. And there you go. Yeah. So it's called Devonshire Square. So that's Cosima, which is a restaurant called Kitchen. And here we are. That's the little square. Which is cute. Actually, it looks as if it's decorated with Christmas decorations at the back there. But yeah, right now it's still three o'clock, but I bet you at five, six o'clock, it would get very busy with punters, people after work coming here to have drinks. Okay. So that's a cute little square. Let me show you that one over there. That's cute. I think they're having maybe a private event here. Right now, there's a screen. I'm sure they're showing football before or Wimbledon. But yeah, this is very cute. Okay, so I'm going to carry on with my vlog. And in fact, now I'm going to go back again to Liverpool Street Station, but that's okay. It's a little detour just to show you how cute this is. And look at this pub here, because I wanted to make sure to show you places. So once again, it's this whole thing is really practice and just getting to know 
my flow and how I'm going to do this. That's why I'm documenting the journey. I'm seeing what works, what doesn't work, uh, where I can improve. And um, I think from my previous videos, I could tell that because I was trying to avoid, I'll come back to, to myself, uh, because I wanted to avoid uh, walking uh, in front of people or talking in front of them, I was staying at, I was staying on the same spot or I was like walking up and down the same spot just so that I wouldn't break stride and uh, break what I was trying to say really. And, uh, but that's something I want to improve on. And um, so now I'm going to go back into the crowd and uh, carry on talking because that's just how it is. Like I say, this is something that I want to do. I just want to push myself and uh, do what gives me either anxiety. I mean, it doesn't so much give me anxiety anymore. I think it just makes me uncomfortable now. At the beginning, just the thought of it, I was like, oh my gosh, no, I'm not going to do that. But now I can and it's fine. So it's just a case of going for it and doing it. So right now I am on uh, Bishop's Gate, which is a very busy street because everyone is traveling. So everyone's taking the bus, everyone's running to get the bus or waiting for the bus or going to the train station. Um, and it's right in the city. So everyone's going to work or they are finished with work. And um, so what I wanted to say, uh, also I want to make sure that I keep my blog to less than uh, 30 minutes and now I can see that I have about five minutes left but it's okay so I'm not going to reach London Bridge Station in five minutes that's for sure for today's vlog but what I'll do is I've just spotted something interesting over there so let's go there instead and uh, until we get there I'm going to talk about the subject that I wanted to talk about which is going at your own pace so actually this is a perfect example of that that when I started the vlog I just thought okay I want to show you Italy which is the, that uh, big shop on uh, Bishop's Gate and uh, and then we're gonna walk to London Bridge station but obviously because I want to keep this to less than 30 minutes there's no way we we're gonna get there especially because I showed you uh, something else in the area so really there's no nobody is telling me you should create this much content this is what you should do this is what uh, this is how it should be um, in order for you to become a travel content creator you should be creator sorry you should be doing this and that and uh, no one is telling me that it's me having to research and seeing what they're saying. Um, there's a lot of advice out there, which is great because I'm learning a lot from them. And, um, but I think I like to wing it at the moment. I like to just find my own feet right now. I just like to try things out and see how it works because so far that's worked out for me. So far I've done, I've done things without even asking anyone I just went and did it and I've learned so much from it, like doing live sessions. Nobody said do a live sessions before you even have an audience or enough followers. Nobody said that. Um, I think everyone that gives advice, they obviously they are giving advice from their own experience, which is great. But that's something that I've realized is that everyone has their own experiences and you have your own pace. and. Uh, Yes, I'm definitely watching other creators and I'm definitely taking into consideration their advice. But I also know that the journey is, is going to be different for everyone. You're going to have a different perspective from, uh, depending on what you go through, what niche you are in, what you, you are doing. Uh, what you already know, there's a lot of things that that factors in there. And um, 
you cannot copycat someone else, so you cannot do exactly what someone says. Like even the advice that I'm giving or my journey that I document is not going to be the same for everyone. So possibly someone else is going to do diff something different and are going to be even more successful or be propelled even further than uh, what I'm doing or what I'm saying. But the point is, it doesn't even matter. So someone else could go fast, faster for a few days and then slow down again and then I'll go faster and then slow down again. That's just how it is and that's, it's not a race and it should never be a race. It's not about competing with anyone or specifically do not compare yourself to anyone uh, because then that's the game because you're not on the same level as the people you compare yourself to. So if, especially the people you look up to, um, you are not on the same level as them. So you cannot try to think that, oh, I'm not at that level. So I, I'm not that great. I'm not as good. So how can I do this? Um, at the end of the day, you just have to go out there and do it and try out and see what works and what doesn't work and improve on that and really uh, take the feedback or really look into what you're doing and try to improve uh, compared to what others are doing. So when I say don't compare yourself, don't compare your your success with others or don't compare, um, how can I say? Yeah, don't compare your progress. So if you if you gained a little bit of, of success or progress, then just celebrate that. But don't then compare it to someone else who go, oh, but that person that did so much better. That's not the point of it. You are meant to celebrate every single step that you take. And so just before I carry on, I just want to show you this and then I'm going to carry on walking. But this is what I thought was interesting. I don't know what it is, but they are working on it. This is a new bit. There's the Elizabeth's line at the back. That's new. That's a new, um, a new station. But look at this. Interesting, isn't it? So that's right behind Liverpool Street Station, which Liverpool Street Station is there. But you can also reach Liverpool Street Station from the Elizabeth line. Which is that line over there? Okay, so that's it. That's, that's all I wanted to say is that everyone ha is on the, their own pace. Um, don't think that because you are slow or that you feel that you're not progressing like others or that it's different, that your content is different, that it's not going to reach. Uh, people, but obviously always taking consideration feedback always try to improve uh, Don't think that what you're doing is always uh, the best and that you should improve on anything Obviously keep on learning keep on growing keep on looking at what others are doing in terms of uh, what are they doing better in trying to trying to do that as in with your own twist to it don't try to copy what they're doing like that's what I'm saying is that don't don't think that you have to do exactly what they're doing but just try to to see that what they're doing with the advice they give perhaps you can tweak your own content to to try to do the same and see how it goes see check the feedback if you have more views more comments or um, all that sort of thing and so that's that <laughs> and uh, there's a lot more to say about going on your own pace but at the end of the day we are all heading towards the same way uh, we're all trying to live our best lives and do something good with our own lives and uh, let me just show you this before because this is a beautiful view and the sun is shining on these. This is gorgeous. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna end this here. But as I said, everyone is going towards the same sort of direction, destination. We all want the best life that we can live. And the way we do it, that's up to us. The way we perceive everything, it's up to us. And um, that will affect 
in itself the journey that we're on. And uh, it's very important to remember that the journey that we are on is for us to enjoy um, with the right people doing what we want to be doing and uh, to try to do our best. And it doesn't matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter if other people are faster uh, than us or slower than us. It really doesn't matter. What matters is what value we provide, uh, how we feel about it, how we make other people feel. And, uh, and that's it. I want to end that on that. So hopefully you found value in today's vlog once again. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.